Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, it'll be Eric Bristow to throw first. Bidding for his third win in this tournament, Eric Bristow, the world rank number one. First to the hockey in this first semi-final. 140! And his opponent, bidding for his first major televised success, David Whitcomb from Chatham in Kent. And look at that start. 180! So battle is well and truly joined right at the start of this first semi. 100! Whitcomb, 27 years old, throwing 22 gram darts. And look at this. 180! And we may have history in the making here, because that means he's had two consecutive 180s. He's down at 141, which means a nine dart. 501 is on. Bristow looks like he's trying to match him. 140! Now, if Whitcomb Thank can go out, 100. we have never seen a nine darter. There's 10,000 pound on this. What's that? That's treble five. That's awfully unlucky. Oh, heart-stopping moment right at the start of this first semi. 55. <laughs> Eric, you require 120. Well, Bristow could still win it. Astonishingly, 121 he needs. And what's 104? He wants the ball to finish. 96. My word, what an opening leg this is. Dave, you require 86. 86, so three 18s will leave two 16s. He's got it, two 16s now, and now eights. 78. Let's say that Bristow. Require 25. Looking for 25. Now two eights. 17. And they're both having a little bit of trouble on the Dave doubles after a really eight. spectacular start to this semi. Whitcomb looking at two twos. Yes, that's the first leg to Dave Whitcomb. And I know they played around on doubles. Whitcomb, in fact, uh, checked out they're in 14 darts only. Second leg, it will be Dave Whitcomb to throw first. Remember, it's the best of three legs. Best of three sets, 501, must finish on a double. The classic format. This is the eighth World Masters. 140! The title has left England but once in 1975 when Alan Evans snatched it. Bristow won the title here in 1977 and again in 79. Looking at the big treble downstairs. Finding the 57 segment. Whitcomb. It's beaten John Skillet from Guernsey, Peter Masson, Tony Brown, and in the last round, Cliff Lazarenko. 65. Bristow's had to work hard to get on the semi final stage. He's beaten the Frenchman, Stefan Bullion, Leroy Raffo from Gibraltar, James Gibb from Jamaica, Eric Lavender from Cumbria, and had a rare battle with Leighton Reese in the quarter final to qualify. 137. Again. Bristow coming to the bottom of the board with good effect. 60. Bristow, the bookmaker's favourite, to take this title for a record third time. Although John Lowe, the reigning holder, is bidding for a similar achievement. 55. Lowe has cruised into the semi-finals. We'll be seeing him next against the crack Swede, Stefan Lord. 140! <laughs> that swings Whitcomb into command. Bristow back on 189, of course. Can't finish on that. 100! They require 96. Treble 20, of course, will leave two 18s. Yes, that's the first set. 14 darts again. 
and Whitcomb has taken the first set, looking very comfortable indeed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Second set, first leg, Dave Whitcomb to throw first. And Whitcomb it is who has strike in this second set, of course. The arrow's so important to get a flying start, and it looks like Whitcomb's going to do just that. 100. In that first set, we had two maximum 180s, 340s, 137, 120, and two tons. That's why they call it the World Masters. 100. Eric Bristow, of course, the reigning world professional champion, still won in the official world rankings. He's in good form. Just two weeks ago, he averaged an incredible 38.537 per dart in an inter-counties match, and he is coming down to 19s uh, very successfully. Although he knows he's in a battle against this lad, David Whitcomb, at peak form. 55. It didn't seem to be a lot of the travel showing, but uh, it was enough for Eric Bristow. 140. <laughs> Eric, you require 164. You could check out here. Not with that single 21st start, though. 100. Dave, you require 106. 106 for Whitcomb. The treble 18 will leave two 16s. 74. Just a little wide. Eric, you require 64. And he knows that Whitcomb's down to a double. 64 for Bristow. Two eights now, that's a treble 16. Yeah! And that's the first leg. It's the first leg of the second set to the world number one, 14 darts only again. Second leg, it'll be Eric Bristow to throw first. And the crafty Cockney in a new line of shirt wear, we notice. One hundred and eighty! And he starts with a maximum. This really is darts of the highest caliber. 140! <laughs> 100! started off uh, life as an electrician, now a full-time pro, doing quite well around the exhibition circuit. 100! Bristow, we recall, first emerged as an 18-year-old. It's remarkable to think, still only 24, but regarded as a veteran of the circuit. 140! <laughs> Bristow scoring again. Quite breathtaking, 180, 100, 140. He's down to 81, so he had nine darts. 140! <laughs> Eric, you require 81. Well, Eric Bristow looking for 81. He wants two 12s now, that's 57. Yay! And that's an 11 that's dart finish. To Eric Bristow. And the world number one looking just that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Third in his signing set, first leg, Eric Bristow to throw first. Well, Whitcomb won the first in a whirlwind, and Bristow, obviously stung, took that one quite brilliantly, and we're into the deciding set. 40. In that second set, one maximum 180, four 140s, 137 at seven tons. 
60. Bristow once again, when he really looked to be in a little bit of trouble, found the big scores and the magic finishes. 135. And he is still kicking on. One hundred and forty. And Whitcomb's touch momentarily, I'm sure, deserting him. Might just have been that 11 dart finish from Bristow, which uh, even rocked his equilibrium. 85. The minimum, of course, for the 501 distance is nine. We never have seen that on television, although Whitcomb was in with a shade at it in the first set. 60. Eric, you require 101. For the first leg of the deciding set, Eric Bristow looking for 101. Needs him 82. 61. Went to the ball to leave him to 16. He's got a single 25. He now wants double top next time. And Wickham back on 295. 45. Eric, you require 40. Two twenties for Bristow. And one up in the deciding yes, set. Yes, that's the first leg to Eric Bristow. Well, it took him a little longer that time. It took him 17 darts, which uh, is so pretty good by any standards. But compared to his finishes in 14 and 11, it took him a little bit of time. Whitcomb needs this one to stay in the Winmo World Masters. 60. And Bristow moving smoothly into overdrive. 140. So 80 scored. 140. <laughs> 45. Uncharacteristic scoring from Bristow. Whitcomb. Must win this leg. 81. 140. Eric, you require 176. Still 50 adrift of Whitcomb, despite two 140s in this leg. 100. Dave, you require 120. And again, needs this leg. He's got to travel. A single will leave him double top. A most important dart for David Whitcomb. Yes, that's the second leg to David Whitcomb. So we're going the full distance. It took uh, David Whitcomb 15 darts there. Ladies and there. gentlemen, third and deciding leg, Eric Bristow to throw first. So once again, the crafty Cockney is uh, stretched. He had to go to the deciding leg of the deciding set against Leighton Reese in the quarterfinals. 
60. And that's not a blockbusting start. Whitcomb. One hundred. We've seen so often how Bristol always manages to find that little bit of extra to rise to the occasion. Ninety-five. And it just deflected the wrong side of the wire, the third dart, into treble one. Still very useful scoring from Whitcomb. 81. And you heard the grunt yourself there, the third dart to well out of line. So Whitcomb has almost gained strike. Move into the lead here. 100. <laughs> 60. It's only 60 there all around Eight the treble. 178. Wickham on 178. One hundred. So Whitcomb scoring it has really been so consistent. One hundred, one, two, three, one hundred, one hundred. He's down at seventy-eight, and the world number one in a little bit of trouble. Sixty. <laughs> Baby requires seventy-eight. And could kill the biggest giant of them all here. He's got a single eighteen, and he wants double top again. For a place in the final. 58 too four. low. Eric, you require 145. And he must find a fabulous finish. 145, Eric Bristow. Not on now. 59. <laughs> Davy required 20. Two tens for Whitcomb. And now fives. Oh, he's cracked it. No score. Cristo breathes again. Eric, you require 86. Thank you. 86, Eric Bristow. Three 18s will leave two 16s. He's got a single. He'll go probably for another single. And now he wants the ball. Yeah! Oh, what a finish by Bristow. Bristow. What a way to save the day. Incredible. But what a semi-final. You have to feel sorry for David Whitcomb. He pushed the crafty Cockney the full gentlemen. distance. He had his chances. But Bristow again showed this remarkable resilience. Came back, finished with the ball, and, and moves into, into the final. And to see a game like that in two men. And it takes two men like that possible. Please, for Dave Whitcomb. Whitcomb indeed gets a standing ovation from the conference centre. What a battler.